morning, Arthur. Morning, Pete. Welcome back, one and all, to Red Dead Redemption 2. I am the Dark Seraph, and last time we robbed a homestead, kicked some crazy people ass, and now we got a report into Johnny Boy here. Let's see about robbing a train. John? Let's get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See you, Arthur. Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. <sighs> all right. Where am I going? Abigail's got one for me. Okay, so let's go see what she wants. Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay. Go to Jack. Not exactly what I had planned, but sure. When are we hunting another bear? Uh, maybe not for a while. Might be for the best. What you up to? Playing. Just a Ain't kid. Fun? I guess. You wanna come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're right. It's about time that you started to earn your cake. Okay. <laughs> Good. Let's go get your pole in. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose <laughs> made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Going fishing. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. Let's go, girl. Alright. Hold on tight. So I finally get to go fishing. Just down to the river near here. We shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Well, your mama might disagree. There are a few other women, I guess. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. Been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yeah, I don't. But not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? Well, <laughs> we'll see. Got fish to catch first. Oh, I like kids. Yep. And Arthur is so good with kids. All right. This looks as good a spot as any. Uh, 
Oh, charming. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. Just by the water there? You mean? That's right, squirt. First, I need some bait. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Bellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it, good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. Something's tugging at your rod, Uncle Arthur. Got one, Jack. Pull him in! See him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Now, it seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. Look, oh, Jack, it's a smallmouth bass. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give him a chance to grow up a bit. I've never seen a bass go for cheese. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm going to pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. Another little one. What? Well, little perch. This one's a rock bass. Not bad. Oh, it's a drum. That is a good keep. That is me as a kid. I know. Born as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit and wait. And try not to worry. It's good for you. I actually do enjoy fishing. I guess. I think I got one. I see. I see. Now that's just insulting. Hey, look at this. The what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. Pinkerton's. You read the files. Typical case. Orphan street kid seduced by that maniac silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton? 
Agent Ross. Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. It's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. That explains a lot. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn. You have my word, you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid, while you still can. <laughs> What the? Who are they? Pinkertons. Don't worry about no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. <laughs> That's it's getting late, Jack. Your mother'd be worried. Let's head back. Fucking Pinkertons. Okay, girl. Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you. Folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Well, did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It that is... is That's basically me as a kid fishing. But I actually enjoy it now that I'm a bit older. Honestly, I just enjoy being down by the river relaxing. Cold drink in hand, just listen to the river. There you are! How are you boys getting on? Great! We caught a fish, and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Not the luckiest... Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey. You did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing, just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. 
We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. A fisher of men. I'm going to head into Valentine and sell that fish. That, I'm, I can fish, and I love it, and I want to do more fishing. I swear to God, there very well may be an entire episode dedicated to just me fishing. someone had that from the looks of this this was a controlled burn trees are still standing and the ground is torched For forestry services will often do this to clear out underbrush to allow other plant life to flourish not to mention the carbon in the soil is actually up Or some dumbasses didn't know what they were doing. Brush fire. Cool. Okay. But yeah, um, forestry services will often have controlled burns because it clear out, clears out underbrush, it puts nutrients into the soil, and overall it's just beneficial. No, I'm not even kidding. That is a thing. And it is done by professionals. We know exactly what they're doing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, get up. Yep. Nope, nope, nope. Over this way. Yep. But no, seriously, forestry services will do that. Kind of interesting. It's done by professionals, so don't try it at home or at all, unless you're a professional. Then by that point, if you're a professional, you're not trying, you're doing, and you know exactly what you're doing, and you have a man with a flock of sheep. Use a repeater for a clean kill. Okay, I can study animals to see what I need for a clean kill. Okay. Okay, man, girl. That makes a little bit of sense. Yeah. I'm not gonna kill a man's flock of sheep, though. That's just that's a dick move. Don't don't kill people's livestock. Easy. 
And it's gone. Seems everyone with a rifle been hunting these of late. Excuse me a minute. Uh, I know this is flavor text, but uh, who the fuck hunts fish with a rifle? Come on, girl. That's just asking for trouble. He started it. Yeah, Blackwater, I'm not getting in Blackwater, period. And Micah. Let's go talk with John. Oh. I'm so sorry. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How about you get out of my fucking way, though? How you do? Fine. Just fine. Hello, mister. Well, that's fine. Just taking it one at a time. Oh, there you are. What can I do for you? Well, let me know what you want. I'll bring it out. What kind of shotguns do you have? A nice double barreled shotgun, a sawed off shotgun, I also a pump action shotgun. Semi auto shotgun and a repeat and a lever action shotgun, all of which are locked. I do quite a lot of blacksmith work in here, too. Don't mind the clutter. Anything new in pistols other than the volcanic pistol? A Scrofield revolver. You'll see a few people in town with that too. And these two are still locked. Uh accessories, sure. And it's just everything I have. And that's just the receipts. Okay. Thank you for my better bandolier. Thanks, partner. I'm gonna go check to see if there's any new bounties. Yeah, yeah. Hey, sir. Mister. Just out enjoying yourself a, what was that, a cigarette? Can't quite tell. Oh, nothing new in the bounty. Last act more civil than last time you was here. Hey, Liz, Deputy. I'm a changed man now. You're doing a great job. 
Keeping all us decent folks safe? Bye now. Yeah, I'm leaving. I take a hint. Oh, if I can get unstuck from the table. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Sheriff. Excuse me, pardon. Hello there. Got a smile on my face today. Good, that's good. Anyway, I won't trouble you any longer. So long. No new bounties. Watch out, stupid old drunk. I got crime to commit. You again? I reckon you've already made enough for the run. I need some hey, money. Mister. Hey, buddy. Oh, you. Can I get a buck, mister? Yeah, sure. Get yourself a drink. Sure. Thank you. Oh, thank you, mister. I'll be nice to the old vet. Go get yourself a drink. Why are people assholes? Y'all are clearly up to no good. Now you see, I was just gonna come have a friendly conversation, and you had to be assholes. What are y'all doing? What the fuck are y'all doing out here if you're gonna shoot their kill on sight? Must be no good, but. Clearly, it's no good. I mean, if you're gonna kill people on, shoot people on side just for walking up and saying hello, you're you're up to no good.
Well, what's up, boy? Good boy. I like dogs. Welcome back, mister. Hello again. Go on, have yourself a quick note. Yeah. Don't need to be flashing the pistol out where everyone can see it and Ah, uh, so I should probably just drop it and skin it if I'm not gonna. Right through the back of the head, too. Easy, girl. I'm nearly there. Ah, uh, just bad imagery, uh, starving imagery, whatever you want to say. Poor deer pelt. That's not what I meant to do. No, 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 no. Even though I shot it in the head with a bow, with an arrow, I don't understand why it keeps coming up as a poor deer carcass. It's you. Getting some target practice, are you? <clears throat> you suck. Well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. It ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just no good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I try to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, huh? Uh, let me come on the raid with you. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns. You're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily tort again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And where are you? I'm the future. 
In all its glory. Yeah, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses, love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. <laughs> you sure about this? Right. No. Gentlemen, He's already here, and I don't need a rat. Let's go some money. Yep. Hey. All the horses untethered? I think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should mm. still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently. Picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so... Shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See? This is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. Ah, you're a funny fella, John Marston. From my folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Squirrels are vicious here, little shits. Towards roads. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Boss, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. Get your ass I up. Too for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Focus Dude, on get on. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gutter sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> You know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. Not this oh. again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. So, we blocked the tracks with the wagon, then jumping. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast. Take charitable ah, donations it, and make sure everyone behaves. Whoa, easy. Little Mr. McGuire. You focus on the baggage car. Grab any valuables now you can find. You hey, take it easy. Shoot your mouth. Get a bullet back. So what are you doing? I'll run point. Keep an eye out for outriders and the law. And help you three where I can. All right for some. <laughs> Cherry picking, I call that. We'll be out in the middle of nowhere, so it'll take a while for any word to get to the law. But here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are... Innocent folk, so if they don't need killing... Mr. Marsh, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire! Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I still would die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Here she comes.
to get up there. Finish up here. Join us on board. All right. Get on that train. Hey. Foster. All yours, Captain. We'll go on ahead. Everybody stay calm and sure. get ready to get shot. Go. Everything you got. Money's valuable. Don't Please, do it. stop. Please. Don't help go. me. Let's make this quick, people. Come on. We ain't leaving until this time is full. You don't have to do this. Please. Please. I, I ain't got that. nothing. Wanna have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? What's the problem, Nate? Money. Hey. Don't do this. Just give it to him, Thomas, please. Okay. Come on. Okay. In the back. Oh, everything it. you got. Keep it coming. Don't be shy. People like you make me sick. These two seem to think we're playing games. I want to. Oh, oh, damn it. Oh, God. You're sick as better than dead, lady. I'm Thank you. my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says so this can be Ladies over. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. You want to make this quick? No. You go ahead and look for the baggage car. Good job. Tough guy, huh? You sure about that? Why are you wasting our time, You huh? show this son of a bitch we ain't playing around here. Wait, come on! Everything you got. Money. Valuables. We ain't leaving until this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend, then. Money! Ah! Come on, cup it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's Give go. me the fucking money. This one will be a bit longer than others, and that's okay. I ain't done. These folks are rich, all right. Looking good in here. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two assholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Horst, Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Eh? There's a few more of them torn enough. Big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. Shit, we got more on the left. Right there! 
Where are y'all going? Following me, apparently. Well, I'd say that went pretty well. We're losing them. Fun boys, real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Now hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big tank. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so. I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be following. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Gang shirt, my... Okay, so that was a lot of money for the gang, and my share was a little over 100. Close to 200. Well, I guess next time I'll go talk with Micah and see what that crazy fucker wants from me. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.